Hello, welcome back. Today we've got another £500 worth of £2 coins we're hunting through. Looking for commemoratives, ones with more than face value, but ideally looking to fill the book. As ever, there's a link in the description to the books that I use if you want to pick one of these books up. We just need three Commonwealth games, Northern Ireland, Wales and Scotland, but they're quite tricky to get your hands on. Uh, it's been some time since we found one, but uh, as well, there's spaces for anything after the Great Fire of London, uh, any of the Britannias, or maybe the new definitive £2 coin if it goes into circulation. But uh, let's get into the bag and see what we find. Right then, bag number one. I'll show you what we're looking for. That's Technologies, the definitive design, the standard design on £2 coins up to and including 2015. Some are lower minted years than others, just not low enough that I think that they're worth keeping. Unfortunately, bag number one gave us a case of the diddlies. We found no commemoratives, but we've got plenty of bags to go through. And there's our first one. It is the Act of Union, very common coin, but check for the rotation error, which allegedly is out there. Not on that one, though would be a nice coin to find. I will of course check through all the other coins for rotation errors, the commemoratives and definitives before the end of the video. Another commemorative there, Brunel's portrait, a very very common coin. Is not Abraham Lincoln as uh, I've seen plenty of people refer to it as, it's Brunel, Isambard Kingdom Brunel. But again, fairly common coin. Should we do an edge hunt? Right early out of the gates. We can do this on £2 coins because they're the last circulating coin with an edge inscription on the coin which is unique to the design. So this one here we can see King and Country should be the Army Centenary. Which it is. Uh, I checked the 2016 for edge inscription errors just because it seems to have been a bad year for the Royal Mint. But no, that one's all hunky dory. A little bit uh, green but that's fine. It's a very common coin. It's not going to be valuable even in perfect condition for circulation because there's so many of them out there to be found. It's always the interesting uh, question though because the rule of thumb with coins, don't clean your coins, you'll only damage the coins. I think it's very easy for non-coin collectors to think, ah oh, coin collectors want nice shiny versions of the coin so before I go and sell them let me just give them a clean. Uh, that is certainly not what you want to do with them. However, if a coin is already dirty to the point of having no value, then what is the harm of actually cleaning a coin, I guess? There's Brunel's, achievement, uh, Brunel's portrait again. Brunel's achievements is the other Brunel coin that's out in circulation. Both of them pretty common, though. So yeah, I guess ultimately they're your coins. If you want to clean your coins, then clean your coins. But if you have any even the slightest inclination that at some point you might sell your coins and cash out just be aware if you have cleaned them you're not going to get full value for them because collectors do, obviously collectors want nice condition coins but uh, collectors definitely don't want cleaned coins so to be fair you might be better off just with a dirtier version of the coin I guess anyway uh, right, 2016, Jodie Clark's fifth and final portrait of the Queen, I guess it's going to be Britannia, which it is. That became the new definitive designer in 2015. Um, 2015 is a lower minted uh, circulating year. 2016 is still quite desirable, because uh, there aren't a whole load of Britannias that were put in circulation. 2015 and 16 were. 16 was a higher mintage than 15, but then all the way up to 2021 we saw no circulating two pound coins so if you find a Britannia that's dated one of those years between that'll be an NIFC a coin not intended for circulation just for collectors to buy which is very would be very exciting I'd love to find a non-circulating Britannia right again Jodie Clark's fifth and final portrait of the Queen what's that going to be it's another army centenary so there's no rotation error on that one and the edge inscription reads as for king and country so again, that one is all fine. A whole lot of nothing else there. Well, we've got plenty of bags still to get through. We could find something truly extraordinary before the end of the video. It's going to be positive. And lots of people... Oh, that was that something. Oh, it's a, it's a bit discoloured. I can't really tell. Oh, no, that, that, that is much more clearer. Sometimes these have like a little black ring of sort of uh, oil on them. I've not seen that covering the whole face of the coin. Again, 
Not the nicest condition, the prices I put up for those that are over face value are based on good quality, good condition coins. There's no point in me trying to factor in, oh, okay, how much, how many pennies I'm going to knock off because this is all a little bit gross because chances are that's not what your coin looks like. But uh, one of the Shakespeare's is always a welcome find. Obviously there are three out there. Shakespeare Histories, which is that one we just found, is the most common of the three. And by that I mean it has the highest mintage. So there were more of those made than any of the other two Shakespeare two pound coins, meaning you're more likely to find one of those ones. Right, Steam Locomotive, Trevithix Locomotive, again, fairly common coin, not the most common, um, it has to be said. Out of all the ones that I would just class as common face value coins, that is one I come across least often, but not rare enough that it mandates a bit of a markup. Well, again, it's not just rarity, it's desirability of a coin as well that uh, adds some value to it. Dear, not a lot there. Maybe we need to rustle something up with another edge hunt. Let's have a crack at that. Okay. What have we got? We have got shoulders standing shoulders going out all over Europe will be Lord Kitchener. So there we go. I have what we have already seen because it flashed, but uh, the mule era. Look out for that. If you find a Lord Kitchener, this design here, check on the obverse. It should say £2 at the bottom. If it doesn't say £2 just there on the Lord Kitchener one, that is the Mule Error, which is a rare and valuable sought-after coin. Uh, not all errors <laughs> are worth a thousand pounds. I say a thousand pounds because uh, my, the sister company of the Britannia Coin Company, who I work for, sold one of those fairly recently, and it went for a thousand pounds, which is very, very cool. Um, they have also got coming up in May, which is not a million miles away. Uh, another specialist coin auction. Hopefully the uh, auction catalogue will be up soon, so I definitely recommend checking that out because there's some exciting things. I've led to believe there will be an aquatics with the lines over the face in that auction, which is a very cool 50 Peter bone. Right, that is another Shakespeare, but this is Shakespeare comedy. It's the rarer of the three, so that's a welcome find. All the world's a stage. There we go. So that is the correct description for that. If we find Shakespeare tragedies, we found all three Shakespeare's in one hunt, which is always nice. It's not the most exciting thing. If we found a whole Commonwealth Games set, that would be a very exciting thing. And there's Trinity House. This is the one that it's believed could potentially be the obverse used uh, to, to generate the mule error on the Lord Kitchener £2 coin. Uh, there's another Trevithic steam locomotive. It's a lovely find, but... Again, not the most exciting, but of course... The coins you're going to find the most often are the more common ones, the ones that are only worth face value because they're so common. But you've got to keep up the hunt because every now and again you get lucky and uh, find a real treasure trove. Now, although we have another Shakespeare hit, um, comedies, all the world's a stage, no edge inscription error on that. I have only found the one edge inscription error in the past which was on a Shakespeare tragedies. It said for king and country rather than what a piece of work is a man. I live in hope, because every now and again, it surprises me. You, we, we, we'll, uh, we'll, wow, whatever. Can't talk. I've got, I'm, try, I'm trying to say, say it too quickly. My, my mouth is working slower than my brain. Um, every now and again, someone will find an older coin, a coin that may have been in circulation for many, many years, and will find a new error on it that's not been spotted before. So I live in hope. That's it. <laughs> if I keep looking like I do because I check all the edge inscriptions of all the technologies and all the commemoratives, rotation errors, die obverse, um, double die errors, you never know. It would be very cool to be the first person to find a new error. So I will keep searching for that. I'm not, I'm not sure that everyone would do that but I think it's worth doing because that would be very very cool to be the first one to say look 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 <laughs> there's new and exciting things out there and have a bunch of people looking for these things purely because you have been fortunate enough to find one yourself and crumbs we're getting not an awful lot there should we double up let's do we've got three bags left we can do a double bag double hitter double the chances and if the coin gods are feeling generous maybe this will be the bag we find something very exciting in. Maybe. Otherwise it'll be a giant double diddly doodahs where we find nothing. Which I 
think I've just caused to happen by saying that. Oh, rubbish. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, we've got one bag left. You never know. We've been saved by the last bag in the hunt before. We could find something extraordinary in this bag. So cross your fingers, your toes, your legs. Maybe not your eyes because you might not be able to see what's, what's, what's turning up. But uh, cross everything you have to, uh, on hand and can cross. Well, there we go. We did find something. The abolition of the slave trade. Very common coin though. Uh, there is the non-circulating version of it, but you can tell the difference because you can see on the inner part this is a textured finish. It's a smooth mirror-like finish uh, on the non-circulating version with the initials DJ to the bottom right of the 7 in 1807. Right, as usual there are links in the description of this video across to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come and join that. There are also links to my other social media channels, the PO Box address, and of course a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel, the company I work for as my day job, so please check them out too. I'm just going to whiz through all these coins and see if there's any errors I've missed throughout the hunt. Well, unfortunately, no errors found in amongst all those coins. A little bit slim pickings, but we got some nice ones on the bottom row, so we can't grumble about that. At least we got some. We didn't get nothing. So let me know in the comments what your favourite coin from today's video has been. And all it leads me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.